<laughs> Look at me, I'm pretending to be a Team Rocket member and blocking the entrance of places that you have to get to. Anyway, um, oh shoot, I'm recording. Uh, hello everyone, and uh, welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Brown on Late Impressions. Well, that was awkward. Uh, in today's episode, we are going to go into this haunted forest through this, um, house door. And last time we were in there, we entered the forest, then entered a cave, then saw Mira, our rival, waiting for us in there. Uh, yeah, that was a little, um, random, but we're gonna take care of that today. So, like I said, through the door to the house, into a forest that people say is haunted, onto this, well, I guess the warp tile makes a little bit more sense, but on the warp tile, and suddenly we are in a cave, having exited from a ladder. Yeah, this is an interesting way of haunting a place. I'm pretty impressed. Hey, Bobby! I just caught a ghost Pokemon along with training my other Pokemon. Care to try them out? Sure, give me your Pokemon and I'll take them for a test drive. <laughs> oh, um, Mira wants to fight. He sent out Coffin. Um, his Pokemon have got quite a jump over ours now. And I was expecting him to have a Pidgey or Pidgeotto like Gary did in the original games for his first Pokemon, but I guess not. I think I should use Growl. Maybe two Growls. Yeah. Alright, hopefully, just hopefully, maybe Pikachu could do this. Maybe pass, possibly? Hopefully? Sort of? I'm hoping. Not looking like it. Alright. I ain't never got more healing items. Okay. Pikachu recovers. Coffin used smog. Yay. We really could have switched to somebody else. I would like to switch to Charmeleon and just take out the coffin. But whatever. This is all completely new for me. I don't want to do what I did on, uh... Oh, come on! I don't want to do what happened with, uh, fighting Giovanni, where I fight him, then know what's gonna come out next, and I... kind of ruin my first impressions being recorded, so yeah... I'm not too happy when I have to do that. But oh well. We're just going to take Gary the way we've got him. Pikachu is certainly not going to survive. we got to switch or it's going to take poison damage. About to use so duo. On second thought, Pikachu can stay out. Zappa the Dodo. Oh, a Dodo! I just, uh, I just made that connection. Yeah. Pikachu takes out two of Mira's Pokemon with the help of a lemonade. About to use Ghastly. Finally, here we go. Now, I'm thinking. Maybe our Ghastly? Let's try this. We'll send out Ghastly. Then. Oh, it's Confuse Ray, not Hypnosis. Oh well. We'll do a Confuse Ray and then switch. That is a friggin' lot of damage. I was not expecting that much damage to go. Wow. Alright, switch to Kadabra. Ghastly is confused. It attacks anyway, so it was completely pointless. Yeah, that's pretty good damage. Confusion! Destroy it. Done. Kadabra still only has three moves. Wow. Oh, it doesn't... <laughs> Ghastly's not a poison type in this game, it's, uh, it's a gas type. There went two opportunities for Charmeleon to shine. Ouch. Confusion, done. Gas is level 22, not much of- Oh my gosh! They're gonna throw this at us? Oh dear. Uh, but Kathy just still doesn't have a water type move. Oh man, I am afraid of the final battle against Mura now. He has a Larvitar? He seriously has a Larvitar! This is going to wreck my future gameplay. Oh no. More turtle coming out. Ghastly. Hmm. 
War Turtle might actually be faster, and I'm sure it's got bite, so whatever. Yep, there's bite. Ah, what the heck. Pikachu! Thundershock! Pikachu won't survive either. But, wow, that did not do very much damage at all. Bubble coming. Mm -hmm. This is not looking good. Alright, I need to switch to Kathy. And start using Body Slam. Or should I use Scene? I'll try one Scene. One Scene! It didn't work. Alright. Body Slam! Sweet. Kathy is built like a tank. She just doesn't hit like one. Well, the paralysis never really worked for anything. But Kathy beat the War Turtle! With assist. What? You stinker! I took it easy on you too. <laughs> really. 2100. Not bad. Well, that stinks I lost. I don't think I'll go easy on you next time. Alright. See you later, man. They really have an interesting rivalry. So what's in here? There might have been a hidden item up there. Actually, if there are... Oh, wait. Uh, okay, we'll do, we'll do this. Charmeleon will go out in front to fight this person up here. Missing goes are really messing up the place. They mess up your Pokedex so it says ghost. It, they do? Huh? I'm not seeing it. Okay. I wonder if Missing Goes also had a type change. This is a very fascinating place. Ikum Bokum. <laughs> I know where you pulled that from. That is a Banjo Kazooie reference. Wow, that. I can't believe I never thought of that myself. That's clever! I like that. Oh dear. I forgot about that move. Partially because I never use it, I never have a Pokemon that can use it, and I rarely ever see it. Flare, yeah. Good move. What's going on? I'm confused. Me too. What do you got? Water gun! Looks like there's going to be a lot of Pokemon in here. From a Ghastly, what? <laughs> You are definitely confused. Alright, Ember. Hopefully. Now I gotta get through two debilitations. I got through the first one. Oh, there we go. Charmeleon. That was a bittersweet round. Here we go again! Charmeleon. What? You are the perfect Pokemon to fight this Ghastly! Kadabra is no longer available for this. At least you got one hit. Oh! Burn! Literally! I totally did not mean that as a pun, but burn! Alright, I gotta hit it this time. If I don't, Charmeleon's done. Double done. Yep. And Ghastly defeats Charmeleon. What the heck? Paralyzation! I am really praying that there's going to be a healing spot somewhere in this mess of whatever. Like there was in Pokemon Tower. Is that you, Josiah? Huh? I wonder if that's a reference to something. Uh, Warp Tile, I guess? Uh, same place. Smells like rotten meat. Uh, what? Another Ghastly? Alright. Kadabra is not the right one to fight the Ghastly, but I don't think Kadabra can really fight anything in here other than that Ekwins we saw a while ago. So many confusions. Now Kadabra is done. And I just realized that Kathy can't fight. Uh, this could be bad. All 
Alright, one more Pokemon. Mischievous? Yeah, Doug Trio has to win. That was a Meowth sound. And Mischievous Sprite looks pretty darn cool for a first generation type game. Critical, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. What? Alright, before I get out of here, I want to get that Pokeball. A full heal! <laughs> I get to use that on Charmeleon! Alright, now I need to get out of here because the only one who can do any damage is Dugtrio with Dig. Kathy can't do a thing. I've said it before and I'll say it again. That town really needs a Pokemon Center. Alright, carrying on. Who's out in front? Charmeleon is... Uh, yeah, okay. Charmeleon can stay out in front. In between episodes, I also went to the PC box and I made sure to teach Kathy Octazooka. So now Kathy is capable of fighting back. And I don't think we've seen any wild Pokemon in here, have we? Speak of the Devil! Uh oh, it's missing Go. Alright, is it a ghost type? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Run! We are not battling that thing. Alright, we'll battle you instead. I will eat your soul. Does it taste like gravy? Another Ghastly. Awesome! I am ready for you this time! Charmeleon! Ember! Win! I didn't think it would take it out. Hypnosis didn't work. Hallelujah! Ghastly's done. I think saying hallelujah destroyed the ghost type Pokemon too. Huh? Why do I have 99 town maps? Wait a second. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I can somehow get... Uh, Alright, split thought here. First of all, what I was saying, if I can somehow get to fight a missing go, and I get an Earthquake TM, this will be amazing. Absolutely amazing. Second thought. I just found the card key in Missing Ghost Lair? Alright. So, a card key in Missing Ghost Lair. I'm not sure what to make of that, but we'll go along with it. I wonder if I should pop out and... Yeah, I think I will. Alright. Let's go to the Team Rocket, or Sylph Company warehouse, and see what we can find behind those locked doors. If there is somehow a place in there for me to get like a self scope or something that lets me battle the missing go, it will be wonderful. Infinite TMs. That's what I like using missing go for. A lot of people go to the rare candies or master balls. Yeah, you're kind of cheating yourself out in a good game if you do that. What I like to do, infinite TMs. It's like uh, fifth generation black and white TMs up in here. Can you imagine teaching Earthquake to everybody on the team who could learn it? Wow. I also dumped a whole bunch of TMs in the PC box when I was at the Pokemon Center a while ago too, so we got room. We got room to grab whatever the heck we want. And I'm going up to the dead end because, as usual, hidden item? Hidden item? Hidden item? Anywhere? Anywhere? No. Alright. I also forget that I have a bicycle now, and I've never used it. Wow, that event was sure a nightmare. You want to get rid of yours? Take this. What? TM42 is... Oh, Dream Eater. It only works on sleeping Pokemon, but it swallows their dream. Alright. Although I would think that eating a nightmare, like what happens to Drowsy and Hypno, would give my Pokemon a stomachache. And I will not test it because she said, do you want to get rid of your nightmare? I... I can't learn TMs, and I don't want to eat my own nightmares. They don't taste like gravy. It tastes like blood and tears. Behind door number two is... Oh my gosh! Oh, oh! Uh, hey. hmm. I have heard about these. And a red amulet. Alright, first thing I want to do is check out the red amulet. Oh, it's a key item. Fascinating. The trade stone. Now, I'm sure most of you are already aware that this is a Pokemon hack, 
which means it is a it is a file of the games that are on the Game Boy cartridges that people have put into the computer and then tweaked in the programming so that you can play a new type of Pokemon game on your computer through the use of an emulator. That is the only way to play Pokemon Hacks, unless you somehow move all the data back into the original cartridges. But, it's pretty much impossible, unless you get, like, some big hookup, I guess, to trade between computers and evolve your Pokemon. For that, he put in a trade stone, which lets us evolve Kadabra. Kadabra is evolving to Alakazam. I did not think I would ever have one in this game. Look at that ugly sprite. I swear Alakazam is a bobblehead. Sweet. It was so worth it to come back here before continuing on to fight the missing ghosts. Oh yeah. I feel good about myself. You can't see it, but I'm doing a little head dance right now. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, we're back at the level I was at before. I don't know for sure how much time is going to be in the episode so far, so let's try to get through at least this part. FPS? Boring. Fortunately, FPS and RPG are usually different genres of games. So let's see how far we can get before I feel that we've run out of time. Ember! I want Flamethrower! Nightshade? Good. It's better than Lick and Hypnosis and Confuse Ray. Remember that Lick can cause paralysis, and we all know what paralysis it did to Charmeleon last time. Let's avoid that, shall we? Huh? Who? What? Dead souls don't need this stress. Amen. Missing ghosts don't have a cry, either. I need moons. Um... I will not drop my pants and show you one. Or two. For the goal of that, I have Charmeleon, as usual. Uh, let's try one smoke screen. Stupid screech. What's up with your Burn your face! Oh, that didn't do much damage. One more! Okay, let's try Metal Claw and see if we can lower his attack power, because all these screeches. Uh, actually, maybe I should just switch. Yeah, I made him lower his attack. Oh, hello. Do not hurt yourself in confusion. Thank goodness. Let's switch to Ghastly. I'm sure it's going to use Bite and defeat me in one hit, but... No, it's a Confuse Ray! Alright, that's... Problematic-ish. There's the Bite. Alright. Please, Ghastly, will you do it? You did. Thank goodness. Charmeleon at level 30? Ghastly, nope. Live longer. And prosperer. Jumpers! What? <laughs> Load state one. What? Okay. I want that. Let's try this again. That is a fascinating idea. HP up? Awesome. Nobody up here? I really need to check everything before I leave. What is that thing? Are you friend or foe? A boy or a girl? I have no idea what missing go are. The missing go are in, or the missing go are appearing at a faster rate. There I said it. Where am I now? Oh, hey! Pardon me, would you like to battle? Child! <gasps> Where? I am no child, I am a man! Seriously, I have six Pokemon and everything. That is a pretty high level Ghastly. I think that's the highest Pokemon. No! Uh, Mira's War Turtle is the highest Pokemon we've seen so far, but that's probably second place. Oh dear. Wake up, Charmeleon, please. Wake up, Charmeleon. Where's the call feature that they have in the Pokemon Coliseum games? Charmeleon, wake up! Okay. Anytime now, dude. 
please. There we go. Alright, now it's still confused, right? Right. Hey! It worked! Holla friggin' Luya. Huh? I hate kids. I don't care. I'm here anyway. I wanna take a poke up here. I'm sure this is gonna be a dead end. With a channeler. Alright. Stop and swap is... Another Banjo-Kazooie reference. I figured one was all we're gonna get, but... In this situation? Yeah, I can see that. Mr. Vest is not a ghost type. Er, gas type. I think we could take it out. Maybe. We should probably stop training Charmeleon because everybody else on the team is pretty underleveled. Uh. No, that didn't do much damage. I don't know if anybody is out there is aware, but Psywave can do up to 1.5 times your Pokemon's level, or nothing <laughs> like it did there. Yeah, so Psy Wave is a very gambler move. Come on, Charmeleon, one more, one more. You can do it. No, you can't. All right. We'll do Ghastly again. I don't know if it's gonna work. I'm sure Mr. Vest is faster and has glare. All right. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah. Mr. Vest fainted. Ghastly level 23. I defeated Chandler. Ooh, 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 ooh. Theory! What? Pokeball for me! Ether! Very good, very good. Get back down there. Get onto that little... Well, that was awkward. Fully healed! Can you say anything? Rest here and let your party's energy return. Alright, they have returned. Looking at our Pokemon team right now... Uh, about the levels. Mm. I may in fact have to dig out of here and go do some off-screen training. Charmeleon is level 30. The first Pokemon I hit level 30, and he's having sort of a tough time fighting the channelers in here. So, I believe I may have to leave for a while and do some training. But when we come back next episode, I will hopefully have more lemonade, and our Pokemon will be at a high enough level to continue fighting in here. Because it is not looking good for us. We can't even fight the missing go in here, which is real disappointing, but what you gonna do? Anyway, thank you everyone for joining me for today's episode of Pokemon Brown. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe as well. You can see all the new videos, and we got a whole bunch of other games we're doing at the same time too. Come back next time when we will be better prepared and ready to continue through this um, glitch house forest castle maze type thing. See you then!